game. Not going eight. the way of Kevin. Kevin's really, really thinking about trying how to win every pot. He really doesn't like that he just gave up and gave him. Come on, come on. What was it? It's not there. He had a straight. He had a straight. You had ten jack. Oh, the news that on that fold? Yeah, they just got the news about the uh, res nines. Wow. It's always interesting when this news comes out. Yeah. And when they find out from the broadcast what happened <laughs> and how it affects players <laughs> as well at the table. Yeah. yeah. Let's see if this uh, this tilts Robert. Yeah, yeah, he's the one I knew it. I, I said, Rob, you're, you're going to be mad. I knew it. <laughs> Robert on the button here with ace three. Pretty steamed up, I imagine. He's going to raise it up. <laughs> 130. Everybody at this final table likes folding nines when they're good. It's pretty weird. Who folded nines? <laughs> I did nines earlier. I'm not saying he folded, he folded nines, nines when it was a winner. Very first hand yeah. 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 There was a raise and you just open folded yeah. nines? Yeah, 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 yeah. First hand is eight. Yeah, I just, I just, wow. <laughs> the, the camp raised and I was like, forget it. Oh shit, I actually needled myself in that. Oh, I wish I folded now. <laughs> okay, okay. It was like the tiny pot. Well, so it was, it was yeah, 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 yeah. It was Jack, Jack High Boy who, who doubled it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, Kevin hasn't said anything about that being a value bet, so I, I, I was probably way off about that. About to get moved. Kevin on the button here, an eight and a six offsuit. There's three million chips. Gonna pass. Over to Jake in the small blind. He's also getting out of there. And Tony with the, with the walk with ace queen of all things. Bring your friends and family. Join us March 31st through April 2nd at the Luxor Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas and watch the live filming of three of the World Poker Tour's premier yeah, final yeah. tables filled with the best players in the world competing for millions of dollars in prize money. Once in a lifetime experience filmed for television aired on Fox Sports Networks at the state of the art HyperX Esports Arena. Seating is limited RSVP today for free at clubwpt.com to secure your seats. Also, go buy <coughs> any time and go play Mario Kart in a tournament for like 20 bucks on a big stage with hundreds of people watching. It's pretty fun. Yeah, if you're a big fan of esports, the newer stuff or the classic stuff, there is uh, plenty there at the HyperX Esports Arena. Oh, they have, space. they have other games besides Mario Kart? <laughs> Shockingly, I, <didn't. laughs> I wouldn't think that they would need it either, but for some reason they want to include everyone, whatever. They do that Fortnite <laughs> stuff or whatever yeah, all that other nonsense, that nonsense is. is. I don't know what that stuff is. To the flop we go, a couple of jacks and a seven out there. Ace for Tony is still good right now. He's going to check it over to Jake. Check back. Turn, queen. Still good for Tony. Seems like another spot where they both just want to get the show down. River card comes. It's six. Tony's hand is good. Small pot there, and Tony is going to scoop it up. But Tony is quietly building quite a little tower over there. You want me to say that? Spell. <laughs> nice timing. What did you build? Ace. Ace three. Ace three. I'm sure at other final tables people aren't talking like that. Hey, what did you play? What was that? <laughs> what was that? Mm. It's still on the site for right now. It's probably still playing. Who knows? Jake's out of there on the button. Tony, an ace and an eight. One twenty-five. Or Robert in the small blind. Gonna pass. Kevin in the big blind. Queen of the ten of hearts. Great hand for just calling. 
And these two evenly matched when it comes to their chip stacks, and a 10, an 8, and a 9 come out there. So top pair for, uh, for Kevin with a, a nice kicker. Does have three to the flush right now, so some work to do there. Tony does hit his eight with an ace kicker, and Kevin checks. Tony's going to bet out at 115,000. Makes the call because, of course, he does. 570 in the center right now. The turn is a deuce of spades. A quick check from Kevin. I would imagine Tony would check at this point, but might want to try to get value from straight draws. I think it's definitely weighted towards checking. 325. Two and a quarter from Tony. Kevin won't be going anywhere here. Just calls the 225. Pot's over a million now. And the river, ooh, an ace hits for two. Yeah. Wow, that's such a good bluff card that it's, it might be a tough spot for Tony. He might end up having to pay off a bet here if Kevin decides to bet. I mean, if Tony decides to bet. And Tony has just had a couple of really nice hits at the right time in this tournament. He bets so much, he's not really just representing an ace. He's betting. 485,000 is the bet from Tony. 1.5 million in the center. <laughs> really interesting spot for Kevin. Yeah. He makes the call, almost 2 million chips, and they're all going the way of Tony. 4.2 million for Tony, who was nearly eliminated from this tournament multiple times. Kevin down to just 2 million in chips himself. A couple of bad breaks there for Kevin, but nice play by Tony. Yeah, it was a bad break, but it was a really good, uh, really good sizing by Tony there. He got a lot for that. Recognizing that it looks like a bluff card, so he's going to get called pretty light. There's Frank talking about a chicken wings again. <laughs> <laughs> Tony in the cutoff, first to act, queen nine, spades. Now 4.2 million in chips. Like you said, Tony, get some firepower. He's probably going to do something with it, reaching for it here. Going to raise it up, 130. Over to Robert, 8-3, he's gone. Kevin, 6-4 off in the small blind. Also gone. And Jake, queen 10, will make the call. Three fifty in the center, and the flop comes a six, a deuce, and a jack. Not a lot going there for either one of the guys, but Jake best right now with queen ten. Two hundred. Tony bets the two hundred, pushes Jake off the better hand at the moment, and he'll scoop another pot. Tony Tran, our chip leader, 4.375 million in chips, 73 big blinds, nearly half of the chips in play with four players still remaining on this final table. Already a WPT champion. Yep. He won the uh, best bet Jacksonville, same one I won. The bounty scramble. 130. 130, right? Robert with a nice starting hand here. We're going to jump it up to 130 with ace jack off. Kevin on the button, 8-6 of clubs. Going to pass on that over to Jake. King 5, no go. And Tony will make the call with his king deuce of hearts. 
And a nine, a four, and a three drop. Ace high still good for Robert. Tony checks to him. And Robert's going to fire 125 out there with his ace jack. Tony quickly out of it. So when you're playing in a tournament final table like this and, you know, you make it through, you know, you make the final table, but you're six hours into play, what are you feeling at this point? Uh, there's enough adrenaline to keep you going. Even if you're – you might not have got a lot of sleep because you're pretty excited about the situation. Uh, but, yeah, even though you're just sitting in a poker table, there's a lot of money on the line, so there's adrenaline fueling you, I think. So it's easy to be focused, and uh, I think it's pretty easy to – to just be your normal self playing poker. Jake here on the button, King 10, <coughs> gonna just call. Tony right behind him in the small blind, king and a queen. He's gonna raise it up to 225,000. Robert's out of there. Wow, Jake called the three bet with the king 10 off in, in position. And the flop comes a jack, a deuce, and an eight. So Tony with the best of that one and has a lot more chips to work with. Tony with a check. Jake must have limped and then called a race from Tony. That must have been what happened. 185 <coughs> is the bet there from Jake. Tony lets it go. Jake plays that position well. Pot of 755. And Robert, as if he could get more handsome, puts on some shades, <laughs> cool shades, cool scarf. Look out. Things are getting serious at the spinal table. <laughs> The word swag. I feel like the word swag makes it unswag. I thought you put on Thunder Rock's t shirt. That's just not fucking you at all. Hey, language. This is on the internet, you guys. You can't swear on the internet. Man, that guy's sweet. Dave Farah, Tyler Patterson, thanks for being with us for this final table. We started with six. We're down to four. Next person to make the walk, $85,800. And, man, there's been a lot of close calls, but this thing remains really even. Tough to say who's going to walk away with the victory here. You know, sometimes you get a sense of, hey, man, these guys are playing exactly right. They're getting the cards. Everything's going well. But there's been a lot of that from all four of these guys. Right, yeah, there's been some different uh, key moments, you know, and – when Jake got that bluff through against Tony, it was pretty special. Tony picked up a couple of really big hands that were good. Uh, the huge bluff from uh, Kevin and the big laydown from the nines from Robert. Robert had his little run for a little while. Felt like he was just going to steamroll his way to victory. And we've seen some really interesting strategy to, uh, to change – their fortunes. I mean, the rubbing of the chicken wings, the rally cap, <laughs> now the, now the shades. I mean, right. these are, you know. High level plays. This high is stuff the no, not no, everybody no. thinks about. He's got a big sweat. He's got a big sweat, so he doesn't. Here. We can't. What? Him? No. Queen there, making money. Oh, he just cranked it. One day he's left. I 
Just give you a call. Oh, you're going to cry if you call Sarah. Oh. Because he said I was going to cry if you called her. But he told me that that was the Oh. Brother Poles. Is this just going to be two walks in a row? <laughs> Maybe. The mood is really lightening up around here. So Kevin calls Jake here with a pretty nice starting hand. King and a jack in the big blind. And they both have right around 30 big blinds. Flop, how about that? There's an ace, a queen, and a nine. A couple of clubs out there. Kevin does have one club in his hand. Back 60,000. Kevin's back 60,000. 60,000 is a bet from Kevin. Call. Jake's just going to call. Jake with king high and a straight draw. Straight draw. Call. King drops out there. It's a great card for action. Yep, so that gives the uh, second pair to Jake with his kings, but that's a, another club. That would be the second nut if another club comes out. And a straight draw for Kevin. Usually when you turn a lot of equity like that, it's a good spot to keep bluffing. That two um, there's not a lot of hands that he can make fold that would have called him a flop. Kevin, that's 225. 225 from Kevin, so this pot's starting to creep a bit. Five and a quarter out there. And two shorter stacks trying to battle it out and get back into this thing. And oh. Kevin's going to make the, uh, excuse me, Jake's going to make the call here. So three quarters of a million chips in the middle. This one's meaningful. And there is a 10 of hearts, and Jake gets there with the straight. Yeah, Kevin can beat a nine now, but most of the nines would have already folded. Uh, he can fire a bluff now, but there's no reason Jake doesn't have a jack. Bet 425, 425, insta call from Jake, and Jake going to grab that pot, 1.6 million chips, and Kevin down to just 1.2 million. That one looks a little rough because we can see that uh, Jake had a jack, but if Jake had a hand like, uh, I don't know, they were blind versus blind, so he could have had king five, and that would have been a really tough spot for him to call or... Queen five would have been a really tough for him, tough spot for him to call. So it, it might look bad on the surface, but Kevin's bluff there actually does work a decent percentage of the time. And Kevin, who sat down as the chip leader at this table and has maintained that chip lead through much of it, is now the shortest of them all when it comes to stacks. And I would imagine not looking forward to this leveling up. Got to figure out how to get back into this, but we've seen this time and time again. All these players have seen themselves in, in danger at times on this final table. All have managed to survive up to this point. Fresh hand as we continue. It's the Season 18 WPT Rolling Thunder final table. Lincoln, California, just outside of Sacramento. Thunder Valley, beautiful casino up here. Yeah, pretty sweet rooms. You know, uh, Regular on the World Poker Tour, Anthony Zeno loved the beds so much in this hotel that he bought, he looked up where they got the beds from and bought that bed specifically. A couple of jacks here for Kevin. Where do you look that up? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how did he, he did just, it. Did like, he pull the sheet off and like look at what the <laughs> I what don't know. I, I think he probably went down and talked to someone at the casino. I don't know. I'd like, who would you even talk to? <laughs> you like ask the concierge? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> That's a really good question. I think you just pull the sheet back. I think you're just like, what is this mattress? An ace, a nine, and a deuce roll off, so Kevin in good shape here with his jacks. Eighty thousand to bet from Kevin, and Tony just hops right out of the way. Small pot there for Kevin. Give me that 
Over to Jake here on the button. He's got King Jack, 2.7 million back. Tony now, 3.8 million back. He's got Ace Nine in the small blind. Jake's going to raise to 130. Let's see what Tony decides to do. Oh. He'll make the call. Robert in the big blind. I think Robert's going to come along here too. Looks like a couple of live cards, a four and a three suited connectors. Four hundred and fifty thousand in the center. Robert, the shortest of the stacks, amongst these three, one point nine million. Flop comes a deuce, a seven, and a ten. A couple of hearts out there, and Tony's got the best of it with his ace high. He'll check. Robert checks. Jake in position on the button will also check. Turn comes, and it is a six of hearts. Now four to the flush for Tony. His ace high is still good, but four to the flush, more importantly for Jake's jack of hearts, which would give him the best hand should another one roll off. Right now that ace high is still good for Tony. It's a check and a check over to Jake here. He'll also check. And an eight comes off on the end. Tony's hand is going to hold up his ace nine. Manages to get there with that straight. Got two twenty-five. Two and a quarter and two quick folds. More chips going to the chip leader. Would have been a pretty tough spot for Jake to win that pot. <coughs> he had a couple chances to bet at it, but I think uh, uh -huh. both both those chances Tony would have probably called. Any hair 69 <laughs> big blinds for Tony Tran, our chip leader. I forgot which one, but uh, give me a thumbs up. Oh, we saw that already. Yeah, I told you. He had thought you, yeah, you did have thought something. I told him I did. Yeah, I believe you. Why am I going to lie? I feel like they're like an old married couple. <laughs> right. They had like a, <laughs> they just had a weird a bickering that they do. That they didn't even disagree and they had a little yeah, argument. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it's great. It is pretty great watching them realize what happened in real time. Looks like we might play in the dark here for this hand. Robert's going to raise it up to 200,000. That's going to get a fold from Kevin, and he'll take down the pot of 320,000. I made a bad fold for Rob. And like, it's like the maybe the most nonsensical fold I've ever made. <laughs> you fold to Kevin? No, no, I fold to Rob. I don't even remember. I don't even know why I fold. We're all making both folds. I must have been really like thinking about the other. It's like the easiest. Kevin's making good folds, but he's just fluffing. <laughs> For some reason. <laughs> I hit it. And all of a sudden, they stop fluffing. Oh, I couldn't fold. I couldn't fold the river here. Jake played good, man. Folded I'm not fluffing this guy. He was back in barrels. Called him with a jack, man. Back in barrels was good. It scared me. It was scary boy. <laughs> scared boy, you know. Scared the Kentucky. Scary pair of two. <laughs> deuce, deuce. <laughs> oh. 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 Kevin from the small blind calls a 60K with King three. Jake in the big blind. 
suited connectors for him. Yep. Eight and five of diamonds. Heads up to a flop. There is an eight, a six, and a four that roll out. So Jake getting the best of that top pair. And just pick up a gut shot as well. Kevin, the first to act, he checks now over to Jake, who got a nice piece of that. 80,000 is the bet there. I think that probably should do it. Yeah, not a lot of room to improve there with the king three off. He'll send that, and Jake will win himself another pot. Now at 2.6 million. Take a look at our scoreboard here. Tony sitting atop for the first time this afternoon. 69 big blinds for him. Jake with 44. Robert with 34. And Kevin, who has been our chip leader throughout much of the day, the short stack with just 19 big blinds. My hand did all right for it, actually. Right there. Didn't drop? Yeah. Could have ISO'd and helped you, but decided. What do you have, Jake? Huh? What do you have? Three point six. One thirty. Wait to one thirty. Huh? Robert in the cutoff, ace king for him, raising up to one hundred thirty thousand. This could be interesting. So Jake here with a couple of sixes and the small blind. He's got two point six million back. Very awkward sizes. Stack sizes in these hands. Makes a call. Tony in the big blind with a king deuce of diamonds. Looks like he is also going to come along. That he is. Three way action to the flop. 450,000 in the center. And interesting grouping of hands here to the flop. There's a queen. A oh, boy. How about that for Robert? <laughs> nice. Flops Broadway. Robert needs a little recovery. Yeah, he needs a little love here. So Jake just going to check those sixes. Interesting, though, for Tony's hand because he's got a king, so he's got an open-ender. What he doesn't know is that he doesn't want to get there. That's a pretty strange lead from Tony. It's an ambitious bet. Um, in a three-handed pot, that board's going to connect with somebody pretty often. So 175,000, and Robert, yeah, just a smooth call. And Jake's like, hmm, all the sixes. Yeah. Doing good. Good thing you didn't get in a flip for all of it, Jake. Yeah. <laughs> 800,000 is the pot, and here we go to the turn. A three of diamonds. Bit of a brick. Check over to Robert, who's got the nuts right now. He doesn't have to very bet very much to be able to get the rest of it in on the river. I think you're going to see a small bet around 225 here. A little bigger. 375. 375,000. Almost 1.2 in the center, and Robert's got 1.4 back, so I think you're right. He's setting this up to try to extract this out of Tony, and we'll see if he's able to get there. Smaller size bet, 375. Might be a little big okay. for a random king to call, but we might see St Tony stick around. A good fold by Tony there. Uh, Tony's going to step out of the way. Robert increasing his stack up to <coughs> 2.5 million. I think Robert saw Tony's lead into the field there as pretty strong, so he didn't didn't think he was going to get a fold too often. That's why he went for a slightly <laughs> bigger sizing. <laughs> and I think that we can confidently say that the sunglasses <laughs> it is not correlation but causation. The reason he was able to. Flop Broadway is exclusively because of those glasses. Yeah, the sunglasses are clearly better than the rally cap. Makes a lot of sense. Either a wild boar is being killed in the poker room or that's Frank. <laughs> I promise next time I lead, I'm going to be a lot stronger, right, Robert? Yeah. Sorry? I promise next time I lead, I'm going to be a lot stronger. Right. Like, like maybe another well, game. Yeah, I think you look through. I think <laughs> you helped us. <laughs> yeah, I think we solved that oh. one. Or you could do it. It's 
Small blind here for Tony with a jack six of diamonds. Looks like this will be the last hand of this level. Heard the announcement there, and check. Robert's going to check, so we'll go to a flop heads up. Queen 10 versus Jack 6. Pots at 180K. A deuce, a 6, and an 8 roll out all hearts. So four to the flush for Robert. A pair of sixes for Tony. A couple overs for Robert as well. Let's see. Check, check. Turn card comes a jack of hearts, oh, and man. Robert flushes out. Could that one spicy. gives Tony two pair, though, so maybe we'll see some action here. Tony with two pair checks over to Robert, who's going to bet just 75000 And I'm pretty sure Tony is going to continue, at least for now, try to fill up, and then maybe have to make a tough decision on the river. And the river is a four of diamonds, so doesn't get there with the boat. Tony's going to check, happy with his two pair. Really only th there's only three cards that beat Robert. The downside is there's not very many things that would call. Two pair, definitely one of them. There are a couple straights out there. Yeah. I think you could try to get some action. You'd have to bet pretty small. 275 <coughs> is the bet, so the pot was only 330, so you're not going to see sizing much more significant than that. And yeah, another nice fold from Tony. So he lets it go. 605,000 total pot size, and Robert's going to win himself another one. As we take a break, it is up in the air. Who's going to win this one? Four players remain at the Season 18 WPT Rolling Thunder final table here at Thunder Valley. We'll be back shortly. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> and you see Woo! the relief, <laughs> yeah, an actual <laughs> exhale there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he shows him. Oh, my oh, God. Brutal. <laughs> Tony's like, oh, my 